Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with former Broncos Super Bowl 50 champion Tyler Columbus. You can catch him every day on Altitude Radio from 12 to 3. And talking all things Broncos here, Tyler, when you look at this free agency hall so far, tell me what's your favorite acquisition to this point? Well, I just love that, generally speaking, they made a big splash without splashy players. Yeah. They they spent a lot of money on two two particular players and Mike McGlinchey and Ben Powers. Look, this is needed. Everybody knows that the offensive line has been struggling for years and years and years. But I love the fact they went out and they got the best available left guard at Ben Powers. That's an elite football player, especially in pass protection. Uh, and Mike McGlinchey is a very, very good right tackle. He got paid elite money, probably not elite football player, but he's a very good football player. So just fired up between those two signings. You know, look, if Russell Wilson, if it's going to work, you got to make everything right around mm -hmm. him. And it starts with the protection up front. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's where I was going to go next. How much of this is, well, look, the O-line has needed an upgrade for a long time. And how much of this is, we're going to see what we really got in Russ and this yeah. is the way to find out. Well, I was interested to see when free agency began, would they try to go get a, b a backup plan for Russell Wilson? Jared said not a backup plan for Russell Wilson. That's just a backup quarterback. Uh, he's, he's not here to push Russell Wilson. So they built around Russ. They've reinvested around Russ. They didn't have a choice. I mean, financially, they're so committed to Russ, there's no possible way right. that they could get out of it. But they're not even bringing up that, the, the, the plan B. They're just building around him. And you know what? It's probably smart, given the fact that financially you're stuck with Russ. Why waste all the money on a, on a veteran backup quarterback when you could just try to build around Russ and give him the pieces to potentially be successful? When you talk about building around him, Samaj P. Ryan seems like maybe a little bit of an underrated backup. Yeah. In your mind, Tyler, is he brought in just as an insurance policy for Javante Williams, or might he have a bigger role than we're thinking? Well, I don't think so. I okay. think Samaj P. Ryan was brought in to be the starter in case you don't get Javante Williams okay. back. And I don't want to wish any bad on Javante mm -hmm. because we all know how big, uh, how great of a football player he yeah. is. He's a fan favorite. He runs as hard as anybody in the NFL. But that was a very serious knee injury. So I think they had to go out and get a guy that was capable of being that number one the whole season. Now, if Javante Williams does come back and he is healthy, I think he's the guy. I think, he, I think he's the true number one. But you've got a guy in Samaj Pirine who's good out of the backfield. He catches the ball well. He's a big, tough, physical runner. I like the addition. You know, uh, you, kind of, you kind of said it perfectly. Maybe it wasn't the sexiest free agent class, but it was all of these areas of need and a guy that maybe we're not talking about enough, bringing back Alex Singleton. Yeah. How significant is that? Well, I'm happy for Alex Singleton because it's tough for guys like Alex. Who, I was like that. I was an undrafted guy that ended up starting over 60 games in the NFL, but I never could quite get that respect financially from the teams that you do yeah. if you were drafted in the first round, drafted in the second round. And Alex Singleton, for like the last five years, has started on his team as a backup linebacker and finished the season as the leading tackler mm. every single year. So I'm just happy for Alex Singleton that he got out, went out and got a reasonable deal for himself. He's going to make a lot of money. Now, I do still think that inside linebacker is a position that you want to address. Uh, maybe draft a young player, see if they develop into something. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not a completed product yet. Talking on defense, Vance Joseph comes back. Some people were wondering, I mean, is he going to want to? Is there a pride thing? Were you at all surprised that VJ said, yeah, no, I'll come back? Not really. Yeah. Uh, Vance Joseph needed a job, number one. Uh, I don't know if he had any other official offers to become a defensive coordinator, but he's a little bit removed. And honestly, I think he's probably looking at the Broncos country and looking at this fan base like, told you so. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't me. Uh, and, and I think it helps a little bit that the franchise struggled in his absence. Yeah. So. Uh, he comes back. He's pretty far removed at this point. Sean Payton is so much more powerful than him. I mean, just in every aspect that Vance Joseph is going to feel like such a side story yeah. that I don't think he's going to even feel the pressure of being the former coach. You know, I felt like there was never a ton of bad blood. I mean, I don't know how he felt, but BJ was always, always a great guy. Hey, no firing ends well. Yeah. Uh, I'll put it that way. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, the last one I got for you, I want to go up to Boulder. All this stuff was coming out. Uh, coach Prime is make, making the yeah. guys earn their numbers. No numbers in spring in spring spring ball right now. What's your take on that? You like that? I love it. Absolutely. In particular with the changes with all the rules and your numbers and everything you can wear. You know, his big thing, it sounds like, are the single-digit numbers. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be a single-digit jersey number, you're going to have to earn the right to wear that. you got to be that dude, is the way that Dion would say it. If you're going to wear the number one, you better be the number one on the team, right? I love it. It adds a little extra level of competition. It brings some more pride into those numbers. 
Uh, and it's going to make sure it's going to have some accountability with those kids, too, that you can't start slacking off because it sounds like Dion wouldn't be afraid to pull those numbers if he's not going to just hand those numbers out. I did feel like he said linemen can't have single digits, though. He, How do he, you feel about he that? He did say that. Uh, linemen, uh, one <laughs> on a giant 310 pound man does not look good. There you go. Okay, that is not a slimming effect. <laughs> you need two numbers for the slimming effect. This is facts. This is just straight facts. Tyler Columbus, best in the business. Such a treat to have you on. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Guys, thanks for joining us. We will see you next time.